Here is a beach blooper joke, so hilarious you will tell all your friends. All right, gather around, folks. It's time for a deep dive into the fascinating world of wrinkly fingers and toes. You know, those prune-like digits you get after a prolonged swim or a luxurious bath? Well, it turns out there's a whole symphony of science behind it, starring our unlikely heroes, osmosis and the sympathetic nervous system. First up, we've got osmosis, the unsung hero of skin hydration. Imagine it as a water park slide for molecules, but instead of kids, it's water molecules sliding through the layers of your skin like they own the place. So, when you're soaking for ages, those keratin cells and sebum decide to throw a pool party and soak up all that water, causing your skin to puff up and wrinkle like a forgotten laundry pile. But wait, there's more. Cue the entrance of the sympathetic nervous system, the control freak of your sweat glands. When your hands and feet start resembling prunes, it's not just because they're having a spa day gone wrong. It's your nerves pulling off a sneaky maneuver. Picture this. Water sneaks into those tiny sweat ducts like uninvited guests crashing a party, and your nerves go into full-on panic mode. Shutting down and boom vasoconstriction happens. Translation, your blood vessels throw on their tightest corset, squeezing your fingers and toes into little wrinkles. So, there you have it, folks. The next time you're chilling in the tub and your fingers start looking like they've aged a century, just remember, it's all thanks to osmosis and your nervous system trying to keep your digits on their toes. Or, should I say, wrinkly. Let's jump to the joke. So, this poor guy at the beach, minding his own business, when suddenly, Mother Nature decides to play a prank on him. The waves turn into mischievous little monsters and snatch his swim trunks away. Now he's stuck in the water, desperately trying to preserve his dignity in front of a beach full of spectators. He's doing the awkward water dance, pretending to be a deep-sea explorer, while secretly praying for everyone to magically vanish. Hours pass, and he's still there, turning into a raisin and wondering if he'll ever feel warmth again. Finally, with the setting sun, he sees his chance. There's only one person left on the beach, a woman. He figures it's now or never, but just as he's about to make his daring escape, fate intervenes in the form of a drifting sand bucket. Talk about a well-timed distraction. With the determination of a soldier heading into battle, he makes his move, using a conveniently drifting sand bucket as his shield of modesty. But just as he starts to relax, thinking he's pulled off the greatest escape since Houdini, he decides to strike up a conversation with the woman. Now, here's where it gets juicy. Turns out, she's not just any beach bum. She's a psychologist on a mission observing the last remaining beach dwellers like a seagull eyeing a long-lost french fry. Our hero, feeling bold, decides to put her skills to the test and asks her to read his mind. With a twinkle in her eye, she looks him up and down, then glances at the trusty Sen bucket and delivers the punchline of the century. I think you thought that the sand bucket has a bottom part. If you liked our joke, then please watch our next joke by clicking here.